Okay, I guess it's going to be part two for this morning. It's uh, 4.34 in the morning. Still, it's 19th of May, 2023. MSNBC is in the background talking about free speech groups use Florida school districts over book bans. Not only because you've got a paranoid state government at this point over here who is afraid of the wokeism because you've got a paranoid delusion of maniac here. Uh, I think his name is DeSantis, or is it something worse people can actually make fun of? But the problem is, the state of Florida, the people of Florida, allowed this shit to happen. They allowed their state to really become that much of a cesspool of being conservative of everything, including attacking school, including going after colleges. Most liberal college that they actually had out there promoting liberal ideas, they don't like it, so they attacked it. They got rid of a board and put in their own conservative board, which is making their teachers and students leave. But they want their own viewpoints being pushed on them. Not to mention the state legislature of Florida has also been banning things left and right, making the most conservative. How do you deal with this shit? How do you live under that damn thing? Yet I see people on there who are just not bothered by it or are not even going to be talking about it. People that I am acquainted with on YouTube are just not going to get into the politics because if they happen to get into that, it disturbs their little clique and their little niche. Niches like uh, Disney, Cruise Lines. They used to have... Uh, an agricultural program going on that they're actually able to raise fruit. But because of climate change is happening over the past few decades, that's went under. So they're struggling with that one. But the other conservative states like Alabama, they're denying people the right to live, basically. Abortion. Same thing in Florida. Also in Mississippi and Louisiana, not to mention the Carolinas. It goes up the coast. They want things controlled. They want things like in religion. They want religion. They want religious control over the government. They don't believe in the Constitution anymore. There are very few people who actually are trying like crazy, but apparently they're having issues with themselves as well. So we're at a crossroads, aren't we? We're fighting for the soul of, of the country here. We can't have two hemispheres of the brain. It has to be one hemisphere of the brain. It has to be two, it has to be two sides for balancing each other out, but we can't have that. We have to have one side, and that's about it. And we have to have the dominant side. So apparently, as I said before in my other videos, we're having a civil, civil, civil... How many civils do I have to put in there? I call it the war. War of ideal ideologies, war of this and war of that that we're having right now. And boy, are we screwing things up left and right. So I don't know. You tell me. Gentlemen, I know online to be eating things up like this. I know there's a few other YouTubers out there are going crazy. And they have an issue concerning about freedoms being attacked left and right. How about this? Gun safety. That's one of those damn things. People think that guns are vital to America still. Well, in certain areas and in certain groups, I can understand that. If we're talking about the military and the police, fine. We all have the right to bear arms. I'm bearing my arms. But do we have a right to kill? We have murder laws. We have... Laws that punish people. But people don't take it seriously enough. They got death penalties. They don't take it seriously enough. We got people trying to kill each other, let them in different cities, let them, even in the conservatives. And it got me pissed off when I was doing one particular video about, uh, I think, Tennessee putting up a shield law. Liability shield law that protects the gun protect uh, gun makers. 
So if your weapons happen to be used in any kind of crime, even violent crime, well, still, when you have a gun, it's always violent, and lives are lost, the gun manufacturers can't be sued. According to what I've heard, what I've been learning about Tennessee. Why didn't the people rise up on that one? Because this law wasn't made public. It was done secretly. Conservatives like secret because they don't want the outrage. They don't want the public going after them. But they'll keep the laws secret and ready to pounce on people who are not willing to obey them one way or another. Basically, control. We have to control you one way or another, so everything has to be a secret. Of course, you may have the illusion that you're going to get... Uh, jury, but, you know, screw it. You're not going to have it. So, give me a second here. I got to take she must be obeyed out. A little off topic here. A joys of dog. My dog. Sweet as she is. She's getting older. And she's getting a little bit more line. She does my scent. So her certain sense she'll follow through to do her business. I used to have a strong ass back and be able to get around as much and scrub up things up the floor all the damn time. Sometimes I'll miss the dogs when we're a lot younger. What I mean by that is able to take care of them when we were a lot younger, take care of the mess when we didn't get to it fast enough and be able to scrub and clean up a carpet. These days I can't even do that at the time. So I have <sighs> pee pads and chucks all over the damn place. If it's dry enough, or actually it's solid enough, I can lift up the, the junk put it into a bag and get rid of it. Or toss it into the toilet and let that have it. I was taking, taking garbage out anyway, so I just got the bags out. And then before I knew it, she did a fresh one without putting it on a pad. I gotta wait for it to dry a little bit so I can get to it and clean it up. It's embarrassing talking to management and other people about this. Uh, uh, this is new. So, for right now, I'm just going to let this be a, just a regular log right now because I'm still trying to get through stuff and I gotta order some more pee pads for this dog. The joys of dealing with a dog. And the joys of dealing with the dogs of politics is a different story altogether. I'm just too damn stressed out for it right now.